This is an introduction to marketing and sales business types. Drop shipping. I have mentioned drop shipping under the monetization section, but I am mentioning it again here because it is a particular style of online business. In essence, you are avoiding dealing the storage, picking, packing, delivery, and the administration of potential returns or complaints. This is truly a virtual business because you will have no infrastructure of your own. You will have outsourced the whole system to other companies. You also have complete freedom to choose any type of product that interests you or that you believe will sell very well. Some people have done very well even selling very cheap products in mass volume. Your main role in this whole operation will be marketing the products that you have selected to promote. One big benefit of this model is the freedom it would give you to operate the business from anywhere that you have Wi-Fi and a laptop. E-commerce store. If you prefer to be more in control of your sales process and the administration of your own store, you can install shopping cart software into your website and run a full e-commerce online store. One ideal application for this approach is for businesses that operate out of physical shops or warehouses, and they want to benefit from the sales that can be generated online. These businesses already have the infrastructure and the stock in place, so it is very easy for them to deal with the whole process from sourcing the product to delivery. This is also an option for people who do not have commercial premises and are perhaps manufacturing specialist products from their homes. There have been many stories about home-based businesses selling their products throughout the world. This business type involves quite a wide range of tasks that can be very rewarding for the operators. Trading domains and websites. After a mailing list and traffic, domain names and websites are the most valuable assets online. There is a vibrant market buying and selling domains and websites. As you can imagine, the prices and values vary widely. With domain name trading, there are a number of qualities that sell very well such as how short it might be or how descriptive of a particular industry or product. There are millions of people trading domain names every week and this is a viable online business activity. One of the biggest marketplaces is sito.com and you will find lots of tips on this website to help you with your domain trading activities. Visit sito.com for more information. As we discussed with resale rights websites, some people would prefer to buy a ready-made website that has all of the key pages, graphics and a digital product already prepared. Of course, there is one level of pricing for a brand new website package, but this can be drastically increased if the website has a customer base and provable traffic. If this traffic is also converting into sales on a consistent basis, then you have a readily saleable asset that will sell for a multiple of its income. When considering what part of a trading operation might appeal to you, you should also think about creating websites that you will operate and build over a period of months or even years with the aim of selling it for a substantial amount of money. There are always people looking for opportunity. There are also people that will be happy to take on a relatively new website because they prefer to build the traffic and the income themselves. So it is perfectly possible to trade websites at every stage from new to intermediate and mature properties. One of the biggest markets for buying and selling online businesses is flippa.com. Selling applications or apps. As described with websites and domain names, there is a thriving trade in applications. You will know that for Apple and Android phones, there are now thousands of applications. If you have specialist knowledge of any particular industry or just a bright idea for a new application, you can now download free software to build applications for mobile phones where you can simply specify the application and have it built for you on one of the outsourcing platforms. You will also find that you can buy and sell apps on platforms such as flippa.com. In the next video, we will talk about service provider type businesses.